Finally, some good fucking food. Are you familiar with what a tiefling is? A tiefling is what people think happens when a human is born with infernal heritage. Yeah. A devil's heritage. That's not what happens. What happens is the Cambion. This is a half person, half devil. I mean, so... Immediate smash. Yeah, no. What's command? I would. Command, it, it basically, it tells you one word and you do it. Nice. That's a big, big energy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, command word, come. Um, <laughs> I, I, I do want to make a slight correction. That is technically where key things come from. It's just not di- like directly a father or a mother. This is what happens if, if dad is a devil or if mum's a devil. I think this is the hardest smash in the entire monster manual possibly. Actually, no, sorry, the succubus will come up later. Look, look, look. I am looking. I mean, disrespectfully, I'm looking. Absolutely, you got to do it disrespectfully. <laughs> Here's the thing. Those horns, are they sensitive? <laughs> That's good, the real question. Sensitive to I, what? I mean, right. Well, no, are they, are they an erogenous zone? I can't remember how you... Erogenous, that's the one. Like when a partner nibbles your ears, very pleasurable. I'd assume it's the same for horns and tails. It's kind of hit and miss when you're kind of either reading hentai or like some other kind of fiction. It's a bit hit and miss on whether the horns turn you on or not. I think that's just author interpretation. Here's the first line from the Cambian info block. Born to be bad. Cambians grow into ruthless adults whose wickedness and perversion horrifies even the most devoted mortal parent. Smash. That's hot. Oh, nice. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. It's not a phase, Mom. <laughs> it is not a phase. <laughs> they get really into rock music, but not like classic rock music that the parents like, like new age rock music. And the parents are absolutely sure that they're going down a life of depravity. <laughs> <laughs> they come home one day with dyed hair and a tattoo and a 100 Gex album. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, absolutely unanimous smash. 100%. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Smash. I think we're going on to another unanimous smash. I think. I think. Knowing the audience. Knowing the audience. Hold on, everyone. The centaur. Right. Smash. Instant smash. <laughs> I don't care. I do not care whether the they way. are an insect, whatever their anatomy is. Oh, yeah. No, I forgot about that shit. I am a very. <laughs> This before and I already. Here's the, here's the thing. Uh, also, you can write them in multiple ways. <laughs> mm. Here's the thing. I, 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 really, I, I realize a lot, a lot of people might be turned off by the horse aspect, but I say I'm willing to give them a chance. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. God. A bit of context for the people who didn't get that joke. The most popular horse dildo on the market is named Chance. Mm-hmm. 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 Put that ABBA song into a different context. Right. <laughs> Unanimous smash. We all knew it would be. Uh, there's no cock like horse cock. On to another devil, which I think actually some of you might be a little hornier for than the last ones. I think you're going to be okay with this one. This is a slightly hornier one. Still a little bit of danger. There's a dangerous aspect. Welcome in the chain devil. Hello. Yes. I was okay. not a fan of the movie. Um, I think this is a pretty good smash, honestly. Okay. I, can I get context on lice at heart? They are entirely immune to fire. They can just walk through it. Okay. So they're not that they've got a fire aura or something it's like that. It's not a fire aura. They're not going to hurt you with it. They'll hurt you with the chains, maybe. And yeah, that thing about can control chains without touching them. They can control up to four chains within 60 feet of them to move like snakes. Hmm. Animate. Yeah. Right. I'm going to say Smash can control chains without touching them. I quite like the idea of being tied up by chains as long as they're, like, not too painful. I respect yeah, someone really. who manages to wear pants made out of chains. Yep, very respectable. <laughs> Wouldn't get past the metal detector at the airport, though. <laughs> no, the downside is it's going to take ages to take them off as well. I'd say pass I mean, because I'm not a fan of the movie. I mean, answer. I mean uh, it can just control them off. For me, I was about 13 when I played the uh, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, so I'm going to say Smash. I refuse to elaborate <laughs> <laughs> next one slide. <laughs> oh my days the casmi uh this is fucking weird 
<laughs> mm, I'm not, no. I know I said before I'm willing to deal with a lot physically, assuming um, that they pass the heart test, but I feel like this is just, it is as unattractive in every possible way. Oh, yeah, it, it absolutely is, yeah. It's loathsome. And no redeeming factor here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I don't want this. It is described as an unspeakable crossing of a human and a fly. I said basically Nick fucked a fly. Like maybe <laughs> it has the redeeming factor in like mate and all the positor, maybe. But I don't think that's it enough to say it. It. it has Nick's haircut. This is spawn of Nick and a fly. <laughs> Take that into consideration. I'm also passing because it has Nick's haircut. <laughs> That's the only reason stopping you, Luke. Maybe Jeff Goldblum was the right choice for that movie. By the way, size-wise, this is a large creature 10 feet across. We're talking. Jesus. Yeah, it's a big baby. Yeah. No, it's yeah, it's, no. A, it's a hard pass for me as well. Yeah, no, we're out. We're out just on. Also, because it has your hair. It's just disgusting. <laughs> and has it, your hair. <laughs> and it has my hair, and I'm, I'm upset. No Luke this time because of a last-minute emergency. Luke will be back unless I can stop him. Don't stop him. We'll stop you first. Luke cannot be stopped. But in Luke's place, and then eventually approximately 300 pixels to the left of Luke's place, we have Catbat. I can't think... Hello, sluts. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't think of a more disastrously horny person to replace Luke. They are here to make the stream even more. That's the energy we need. Let's get our horny buttons ready. Move straight on to the next one in the seas. We are actually starting off with heart and cess failure, I'm afraid. But I'm eager to hear what you think about this because I'm I'm surprised that this is a heartless test failure given what's going on. But it, it is looking at the stats, it is, which is strange to me. So we're going straight to the Chimera. So we got three heads attached to one body. This is a monstrous creature created by an evil god. But the thing that confuses me is I don't know why this creature doesn't have a language. It doesn't make sense to me because dragons have language. And there's a dragon head right there. I think I know the answer. The dragon is not traditionally on the Chimera. Instead, it's the tail being a snake head. The dragon was added on for D&D. Yeah, uh, but the confusing thing for this is yeah, it understands Draconic, but it can't speak but at it, all. Okay, interesting. Mm, maybe it's wait, wait. because fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> These were created by the Prince of Demons, the Demogorgon. You'll know that from Stranger Things, of course. Just because they can't verbally speak does not necessarily mean they fail the Harkness test. They just have to have some sort of way of communication that shows that they are intelligent. Yeah. I assume they can also based on the intelligence score as well. The intelligence score is also free. We're looking at a minus four in oh, uh, I'm thinking for the speaking thing, the lion part of the body probably has primary control of the lungs, and that's why, because lions can't speak. That's quite possible. Yeah, yeah. That would just check out. Information. Hold on, hold on. We're getting new info. Lions can't speak. Okay. We've got a Pass from Iris. You got pass. Yeah, I got to pass on this. If it was something more alieny or horror-esque, I probably would have given it a smash. But as it is right now, it's it's pass. Yeah, that's fair. I I've got to agree. Like I know that my position here is I'm meant to be. I said these <laughs> these monsters is fluffer. That's not the right word. I'm meant to be their promoter. I'm meant to be like their wingman. But I, I can't. It's an animal. I'm a pass on this as well. I mean, if you want to fluff them, that's your business. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a bit more. It's another Harkness test failure, technically, but I think it might be a pass because it does understand a language. It can't speak, but it might be able to communicate a bit better. It's also more intelligent. It is its like sentient levels of intelligence. As we go to the Jewel. Oh no, this is a pass. No, never mind. Sorry. It can. It understands deep speech and is sentient. Remember yeah. when I said if it was more horror-esque or alien? Ah. Oh, smash. We've got a smash from Cabo. We've got a smash from Iris. What are we thinking? Do, do you need some more information? This is a large large aberration so it's about you know 10 foot high service level <laughs> and that's gonna come up every time anything's 10 foot high isn't it i really was hoping that you had forgotten you had forgotten oh, no. what service level meant. no i've been editing number one for the last four weeks iris <laughs> i genuinely regret introducing you to that term <laughs> iris i need you to know that he messaged me we had a discussion about this <laughs> <laughs> service level is exactly what you think it is. <laughs> yep. if, you are, if you are standing up straight and you are looking at this creature and their genitals, genitals are in your face, that is service level. Yep. 
You just write that. Bless you, Iris, for the details. Okay, but I gotta, I gotta be clear. I gotta be clear. So let me give you a bit of lore about these. These are really interesting creatures. They are crustaceans that were modified by Abalefs, who you'll remember from the start, and endowed with sentience by the Abalefs. So they were sort of created as a kind of a slave race sort of thing going on. There's a lot of that in D and D. We'll see a lot more of that later. They gained their independence, but for some reason are like determined to go back to Abalefs. Unlike most of the stories of liberation, like the Gith hate Mind Flayers because they were enslaved by Mind Flayers. The Chul see Abalefs almost as gods, which makes sense. A lot of Abalefs are older than actual god. So there's a much more religious sense to it. I have an important question that I'm going to regret asking. Mm. Mm. Do we think this thing has traditional genitals or like an ovipositor? <laughs> oh, definitely an ovipositor. <laughs> okay. I mean, maybe. I, I don't know. What? What? All right, I'm going to do a risky Google. Uh, what is the <laughs> genital situation in a lobster? But I mean, right now we've got there a nice a... strong grip on those claws. Animal sex, how lobsters do it. Thank you, life science. Okay. Come on, give it to us. Give us the good stuff, Nick. They only mate after they molt. I mean, same. It's like slipping into something more comfortable, but a bit more extreme. So she keeps the cum stored in a receptacle at the bottom of her thorax. Uh, so more traditional. Got it. This is <laughs> he'll, he'll smash that. Kind of rubs it against her shell against the fertilized egg. So it, that's why it's got to be after they molt, because if they molt beforehand, all that cummy goodness is going to come off with them. Yeah. So how are you feeling about this song, Goggles? Uh, I mean, You've been suspiciously quiet. <laughs> <laughs> how do I put this? Pincers, no. And the wanting to go, as Nick put it on the slide, ready to go back to their ex at any time. I'm just like, that's, no. I'm, I'm not down for this. That's fair. I'm a no because the claws were worry me. I, I feel like I'm going to be done as serious shenanigans. Like, that is a nightmare hand job situation. <laughs> right? I, mean, I, I feel like it'd be more of a situation where, like, they'd use those front two legs to hold on to. Yes, and then if oh, they're using their big claws, that's more of a kink thing that's not near your genitals. It's going to be around your midsection, your back, you know, like a good set of nails. That's true, but on the other hand, no. <laughs> and then, you know, just the mouth in general, big win, 10 out of 10. I do think that mouth probably feels good, but on the other mm -hmm. hand... Mm. Oh yeah, they probably have amazing head game. Yeah. And also, yeah. Think, you know, your ass and your dick at the same time, go for it. It would be heavenly. I don't think the Grundle would have received quite so much attention from any other monster in the Monster Manual. And we are, of course, <laughs> big fans of the Grundle on, on hiscursedness.tv. And again, I must say, don't go to that website. It doesn't exist. Or maybe someone's bought it since then. And it's like, a it'll steal your credit card info. Don't go there. Mm. Okay. So we're 50-50 split down the middle. Let's go to the next one. The Cloaker. This is a streaker from Minecraft. Yeah, where do you think they got it from? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it just looks like a manta ray that got very lost and very confused and a it's little yeah. angry. <laughs> People who are following along with their monster manuals open in their laps along with me will note that I've missed the clay golem and that is on purpose. The tail is completely useless for any sort of fun sexual activity. It's yep. really for your pleasure. No, no, that's Bob for your displeasure. You ever wanted to be fucked by a lion? There you go. There's that tail. Barbs are going a in lion's the wrong tail direction. Is furry, dude. <laughs> Not by the tail, by the barbed <laughs> penis. <laughs> barbs are going in the wrong direction. Oh, so that is the right direction. <laughs> you know, I think actually compared to a lion's barbed penis, I would prefer this. I would rather it hurt on the way in than on the way out. Because if it hurts on the way out, you're stuck now. You're like, oh no, it's only going to get worse. But if it hurts on the way in, you can go, no, pull it out, hurts less. And then you're like, no, that's enough. We're not doing any more of that. But if it's in there and the barbs are going the other direction, you're like, mm, I've made a grave error. And now I need to go to hospital with a lion deep inside me. For me, those wings look a bit too fleshy, if that makes sense. Yeah, they look yeah. like cartilage, but not mm. like soft tissue flesh. And I don't yeah. know. These are, these are a bit like stingrays and all that. This is the dead skin after you pop a blister. Oh, 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 wow. I was already no anyway. I was just like, I need even more no after that description because I could see it and I don't like it. And the teeth are just, you know, there's like, there are no redeeming qualities on this piece. So fun little fact about this, speaks two languages. 
which is more than the average person. Which okay, one? fine, it's smarter than me, it's still not fuckable. <laughs> Deep speech and undercom, and it has an intelligence score of 13, which is average above average. Okay, Fair enough. Explain just some moan on its set block. Okay, moan. Each creature within 60 feet of the cloaker that can hear its moan and that isn't an aberration must succeed on a wisdom save or be frightened until the end of the cloaker's next turn. That makes sense. It threatens me. It can also <laughs> cast a mirror image for some reason. As you do. It sneakily hides in caves, flies over, wraps itself around your face, and then kills you. Naturally. I think they're great, but I gotta admit, I'm also a pass, and that's because I try to be the bigger man, but I can't forgive them for Steve Irwin. I was trying not to make a Steve Irwin joke, and what do you fucking do? <laughs> I need them to know Steve Irwin's still got shooters out there. Should we go on to the next one? Yes, this is please. a much more traditional shape. I will get a few smashes. That's gonna be another planet, isn't it? Oh, it's okay. the cloud giant, yeah? Huh? 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 Okay. You're so proud of yourself. <laughs> okay, like, I, ha I have to bring this up again, and I, I said this multiple times in the last one, but this is just a dude. Yeah. This is not just a dude for so many reasons. Kind of big. Kind of big. This so is huge. This is this is 15 to 25 feet tall. It's just a really tall dude. See, my concern with really tall dude is at what point are you just a doll to that tall dude? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm into that. Yeah. Six, they live in uh, castles when, when, in the sky that you can only reach from giant beanstalks. Come on. Yeah, so, but, you know, misplace you and break you by accident. <laughs> yeah. On average, this guy is only about three times taller than I am. That is no different than, say, fairies in this edition, which are about two feet tall compared to me. Or, you know, Shaq. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. or Shaq. Or at least a short person compared to Shaq. I don't know, probably, Nick. You're what, 5'4"? Wait, I'm not a short person. Just to drive by on Nick. Oh, no, that, no, no, no. Can we, can we just say... Just confused. No, let, let, let Nick be short. <laughs> if I'm short goggles... Hopefully this is opposite day, and that means I get tall. I'm stealing your height. That's fair. You're I short now. I do owe you that at least. Just a guy or girl. It's still a smash. Like, it's boring, but it's a smash. It's a viable smash. No one's asked about the Ant-Man thing either. I, no, I'm I wonder if you're assuming the wrong thing. I don't know if I want to ask. I'm wondering what? about the teeth. It's a bit pointy, isn't it? It does look a bit like off-brand uh, vampirism going on here. <laughs> Since you're dying to tell us about the ant thing, please go ahead. They can cast gaseous form, which means they can enter any space up to one inch wide. Aha. Yeah, but then we're getting into the boys' territory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Are you willing so, to risk an exploding urethra? I'm not. So canonically, the cloud giant could kill you, much like Ant-Man could kill them. Sweet exactly. Head. Goggles, how are you feeling about this one? I believe I would only smash if I was also going to use this as an opportunity to rob them. So I don't know whether that's a smash with caveats or what. No, that's a smash. No, I mean, a smash is a smash. Smash with caveats of I'm robbing them. We've had four dragons so far, and that's presumably the only reason you want to smash a dragon as well, so you can rob them. Yeah, I mean, that's it wants to pay for my pussy. That's the, reason. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's the reason we smash the dragons, yeah. Yeah, no, that, that, <laughs> no, yeah, maybe. I, I, I plead the fifth. I am also a smash for this. Of course I am. Big women? Absolutely. Resident Evil 6? 100%. You mean 8? 8? eight? I don't Are know what numbers are. <laughs> what eight, happened eight, in Resident eight, Evil 6? <laughs> yeah, let's go with that one. one. I, don't know, I don't know who's in 6, but it's probably not anywhere near as good. One of these days, we're going to have to do a special episode of the Smasher Pass for uh, Fizz Vans, specifically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just go through the Treasury of Dragons. I don't know who'll be there with me by the end, but it might just be me, just lonely, <laughs> and sitting there just going, smash, smash, smash. It's the Cockatrice. And... <laughs> Sorry, it's the Australians call us a bench <laughs> I beg your pardon. Every part of this is wrong, the cockatrice. It's so spiky. It's so angry. It does fail the Harkness test, but it is a classic D&D monster. This is just Kuliaku from Monster Hunter. I'm sorry. Oh my I mean, god. It's a raptor. Which makes me Sad. even less wanting to, to go anywhere near it, aside from, you know, skin it for armor. So, uh, nah. <laughs> oh no, I have been very vocal to quite a few of the people I've played Monster Hunter with that I would smash most Monster Hunter creatures. This thing looks like it would speak with a 60 a day voice, you know? <laughs> 
Actually, I'm, I'm picturing, you know, the uh, World War II documentary voice coming out of this thing, and I'm not oh sure my God. why. <laughs> I love it. That's for me. I don't know why. I feel like it would sound like David Attenborough. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> no. Nick, you gotta. Nick, you gotta do it. How would David Attenborough fuck us? And here we see a modest penis <laughs> protrudes <laughs> forwards from the frame, looking somewhat like a sad mushroom under a pile of lard. Please stay still as I attempt to put it in, because I fear that if you wriggle or enjoy it too much, I'll simply pop straight out and we'll have to go through the whole rigmarole again. I asked for this and I have so many regrets. Uh, so how are you feeling about this thing? Um, no, I'm a pass on this. There's too much spikiness going on. It looks like it would bite my dick off. I, I ain't about that. I stand alone on this hill, it seems. Yeah. You stand alone. Oh yeah, baby, it's the Copper Dragon. So there is a downside to the Copper Dragons, and I, I will say is, they are the YouTubers of... I'm gonna hit Smash again. ...of the dragon. Okay. Of the <laughs> for, like, you, for like YouTuber, are we talking like the Paul Brothers YouTuber? Hold on a sec. Are we talking I like mean, Markiplier? We're talking like uh, Logan Paul sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Can I fix him? The thing is, we don't have to really engage on their social media. We're just quietly fucking in the background. Oh, we don't exist. Well, so you might think, but their favorite thing is pulling pranks on people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. See, my first instinct is to say kill them. <laughs> 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 but uh, I've already chosen to smash, and that's really a conflict of interest. <laughs> they appreciate wit, a good joke, humor, story, or riddle. They become annoyed with any creature that doesn't laugh at its jokes or accept its tricks with good humor. Yeah, it's smash this. This is just this is just a YouTuber. Just Logan or <laughs> Logan. No, I was gonna say Loki is a dragon, and then it's just my brain went Logan, so it already knows it's Logan Paul. It is. When you said YouTuber initially, I started picturing this thing with Markiplier's voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I was thinking about Philip DeFranco, so I don't know. What this says about me. Stop, you beautiful bastard. <laughs> <laughs> All dragons, as they get to a certain age, they have effects on the area around them for several miles. If you had an ancient copper dragon near you, you would hear the ethereal music of woodwinds and bells. Oh, hell yeah. So literally some bells and whistles. All right, let's go for it. You would also get, and this, this one I find a bit weirder, tiny beasts such as rodents and birds that are normally unable to speak gain the magical ability to speak and understand draconic. Interesting. To Cinderella. Intelligent creatures within one mile are prone to fits of giggling. Perfect. It's very weird. I love it. I respect it. I don't know why I put these on here. We all know the answer. It's smash, 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 smash. Because then we get the occasional moral dilemma of smashing a YouTuber. Yeah, that is true. They'd annoy me. They're definitely a one night stand. They're not like, I wouldn't marry this dragon, you know? If there's a dragon that's going to come live in the Team Ten house, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> I might marry this dragon depending <laughs> on whether or not it's ribbed down there or not <laughs> I see your priorities <laughs> uh, I couldn't tell you I couldn't find any images of the copper dragon's genitalia that tells me that you looked it up well of course if it helps Iris I just kind of assume that dragons follow the shark penis situation and I don't know why but it just seems like the way it should be what is the shark penis situation I've said this out loud now I have to face it <laughs> <laughs> Regressively, yes. It's not so much of what I'm saying that I'm concerned about. I'm now worried that I'm incorrect. It's fine. Nick can look it up. Yeah, it's fine. I'll look this it up. It's true. When I edit it, I will just say wrong in big caps. No, no, no. You go fucking Google it right the fuck now. Some marine creature has two dicks, and I thought it was some kind of shark. Shark, two dicks. Let's go. <laughs> My Google is... It is. Why sharks have two penises, according to Gizmodo? Hey, yeah. there we go. There you go. Sharks and rays. We're going back to the cloaker. Oh, fuck no. Do we have to... They're called claspers. Dual sperm releasing tubes. Every time you say cloaker, my brain, because of this fucking stream, just goes cloaker. And I hate it. How dare you do this to me? I think the safe thing to do is just assume every single dragon has some sort of bad dragon situation going on there. But in this case, this one has two. Thank you, Catbat. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You're welcome. Double dicking. <laughs> Just smash. The next one, we've had a lot of like big, muscly, spiky sort of characters, right? Let's go for something a bit more svelte, you know? A little bit more streamlined. We have the quack. That is aerodynamic. It, it is. is so aerodynamic. You feel like if it felt folded up the wings, it could go right up inside, you know? Yeah, you know, I, do, I do like the idea of this thing trying to like coil around me and brush me as we're, you know. This is a medium creature. It's about the same size as you. I feel like those wings would be comforting. Yeah. Yeah. It speaks every language in the world and it is telepathic. Well, what can it do with that tongue, though? Oh, what can it do with that tongue? Things it can do with that tongue is cast stream, bless, create food and water, cure wounds, lesser restoration, protection from poison, sanctuary, shield, scrying, greater restoration, detect evil and good, detect magic and detect fort. It knows a lot of magic. There's no downsides to this creature. I mean, I'd fuck this thing just to have it tell me things and translate old texts. It cannot lie to you. That's what I'm saying. So if you're fucking it and you're like, hey, do you like that? You might not like the answer. Communication is key. Absolutely. But they cannot lie. That's fine. Actually, you know what? It gets better. Actually, they can withhold information and answer questions vaguely or allow others to jump to the wrong conclusion. But they can't directly lie. Yeah. The monster manual specifically points out what the mating ritual of this creature what? is. So it saved me a lot of research. What? The mating ritual of Coatles is a beautiful and elaborate dance of magic and light, which results in a gem-like egg from which a new Coatl hatches. So they fuck like a Zari from Mass Effect. Okay. As long as I get hugs out of it, I don't give a fuck. I take it back. Only one Coatl raises the child as well, huh. but it's whichever one sought out the mate. Oh, okay. The horniest person raises the child. I feel like that's a You wanted problem. it, you keep it. <laughs> yeah. They were created by a long dead god, but most of the edicts that have been given to them have long since been fulfilled, so they don't really have to do too much. So how about you, Nick? Oh, hell yes. I, I haven't even mentioned they can shapeshift. I feel like shapeshifting is cheating and should not be mentioned. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, if Luke was here, so, you know, and, and maybe Luke's on the fence about the quaddle, let's face it, he's not. But maybe he's on the fence about the quaddle and I go, can turn into a donkey or, <laughs> or a car. Luke's suddenly a smash. <laughs> I, you I, had to I, bring I, up cards. I don't know like, where you were going with this. <laughs> I genuinely feel like when it comes to smash or pass, state shifting is cheating and we should only consider its base form. Oh, I disagree. Oh, I don't know. Because I, if I will do something nice for the person I'm sleeping with, if they want me to put on a wig or a costume or something, I'm still going to fuck them. So that's kind of, you know, just role playing. And Iris, we've got the doppelganger coming up. Like, you've got to give them some slack. That's their whole thing. <laughs> it just feels cheating because like, oh, well, you, you don't like them as is. They can just be whatever it is. Therefore, everything that has shape-shifting is an automatic ass, which She is... could be a third grade teacher. She could be Stacy's mum, who I have heard on good authority has got it going on. Uh, Stacy's dad is better, I think. It's got me down bad. Are you ready for the hottest one so far? And in fact, I think in this entire segment, this is a Harkness test failure, but I think we're all going to be hitting smash, all right? Everybody get ready, the crab. <laughs> it's an immediate smash. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Crab. crab, crab. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Here's the thing. It's inevitable. We all long we for the crab. We become crab. We all long for the crab. Goggles is afraid of the future. I just don't want pincers. Yeah, any kind of like pinch thing. It's it's an automatic bruise. So I'd rather not. Oh, fair. Yeah, but on July 29th, you get the swarm. It's every crab. You know you want all the crabs. Plus, you know, crab mm. raven. They're great at parties. They like coconuts. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh, yeah. Just, everything is crab. I'm just... This is a beautiful slide. This is art. Crab. Arsonization is a real thing. Most creatures are slowly evolving their way towards becoming crabs, even if they are completely unrelated. Yeah. This is what H.G. Wells thought. I'm ready for crabs. <laughs> Have you all read the end of the right time now. machine? <laughs> <laughs> We're almost all a smash except Golgus, who's a fucking coward. Yeah, that's fair. Let's go back to an actual monster and not a silly one. We have the Cyclops. Kind of honestly hot. See, You're I'm really going to put poor depth perception on this list? <laughs> it's on their stat block. It's literally written as that on their stat block. The Cyclops has disadvantage on any attack crawl against a target more than 30 feet away. That's so rude. My depth perception sucks. I can still murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not very sure about the Cyclops. Because on one hand, yeah, it's just the dude. They're also canonically atheist. Huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what does it for you. Fair enough. Yeah. You could be very awful to these people because you could just tell them that you're cheating on them with nobody. Yeah. And date somebody with no name nobody. 
everybody. They are unwise. Yeah, but that's a you thing, not a them thing. If you're going to be mean, that's your fault. I just wanted to make the nobody joke. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, I, I, I would never actually do that. Like, we appreciate a himbo or a hermbo. What was the she version of himbo be? A shimbo? It's, uh... I couldn't go far down the line and I forgot bimbo was a thing. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, hang on. Am I being trolled right now? <laughs> no, no. People just forget shit. <laughs> <laughs> just me having a brain that does not good things. <laughs> I feel like Cyclopses are too easily manipulated, and one day I'll be going out to work or whatever, and somebody will come and rob us of my Nintendo Switch. That's a very specific story. Have you entrusted your Nintendo Switch to a Cyclops before, Iris? <laughs> no comments. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel uh, like the spirit of Smash or Pass isn't a long-term relationship or pass. That is true. <laughs> if I'm smashing somebody, I am already considered during the long term, whether or not this will be the long term. Yeah. Oh, sometimes I'm just slutty. That's fine. Hit it and quit it. Sometimes I'll determine, no, it's probably not for the long term and just enjoy myself in the now. But at the very least, if I'm at that point with something, that thought has crossed my mind. That's <laughs> totally fair. So the thing about that last point on the bullet points, they shy away from civilization. They don't trust other groups. In general, there's not a racism to it. It's more of a kind of hermitism sort of thing. You know, they prefer to be on their own. They will move around in small groups. Oh, oh, they're like the the survivalist conspiracy theory guys. Exactly. I mean, you can be antisocial and not go full Waco. Yeah. yeah. I'm antisocial. But they're also idiots. They li literally says they aren't great thinkers or strategists. They find innovation difficult. They're slow to learn and bound to traditional ways. Uh, yeah, no, I, no. I, as soon as you get bound to traditional ways, I'm like, nope. Yeah, I, I think until you hit there. Their sense of pride causes them to react with a vengeful, bloodthirsty violence. Okay, Weird, so if, but... if, you, if you take out everything except the traditional ways, all you've done is bully me personally for several years. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I've got, I've got more. They can be deceived into mistaking a warlock, cleric, or other caster for a powerful divine figure. However, they react with violence once they learn that the individual they assumed was a god is a mere mortal. Oh god. Oh dear. I'd get violent if I thought I met Jesus and it was like, I'm actually just Steve. Yeah, they're gonna kick Steve's ass. <laughs> yeah, we are. Um, Wait, Steve, like, fuck from Minecraft? Guy. Yeah, Minecraft yes. Steve. Yeah, we're gonna go fight Minecraft Steve, you want? He's regularly <laughs> doing the Jesus t pose. <laughs> So how are you feeling about this, Nick? We've all made our opinions clear. I don't know. I don't think the art on this one helps. The art is, I think, one of the worst bits of art in the Monster Manual. Most of the Monster Manual art's pretty good. This is washed out, and like it's hard to pick up many of the details. Also, for a creature so big, his titties are so tiny. I know, yeah. right? On the one hand, it means you don't have to motorboat quite so far. If your neck's hurting, that's nice. But on the other hand, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this art. It is, I think, the worst in the book. And I think that's putting me off more than anything else. I think if I found the right Cyclops, it's probably a yeah. I married Ayala the Hunter in, in Skyrim. That's basically this. I'm so glad that's where you went with this because I was about to be real upset for Becca. <laughs> 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 yeah. Becker is easily tricked into thinking people are gods. It just happens. Yeah. Thank you for joining us in our titillating journey through the Monster Manual. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit like and let me know in the comments down below which monster you find most irresistible. And hey, if you want to see us crack through more hot stuff like this, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Until next time, shame on all of you and, most importantly, shame on me.